team. I'm surprised that the Braves wouldn't give him that sixth year just as a, a gold watch. You know, thanks for all that you've done. It doesn't seem like a reason to break things up. Right, so it's going to probably, in all likelihood, cost $30 million a year to get the guy. So if the Yankees are, in fact, quote-unquote interested, I don't know if they are. I have not heard from anybody that they are. I would have to ask them why. You, you're going to have to give him the sixth year, because I would assume that he'd rather stay where he's familiar with five years. You have to give him the sixth year. That takes him to 38. And if you're going to negotiate with Aaron Judge, he's 30. He's going to be 30 in April, and everybody's going nuts. Well, how can you give him a long-term deal? Well, if you're going to give Freddie Freeman a six-year deal to 38, then you got to give Aaron Judge, your homegrown player, the face of baseball, an eight-year deal. And Aaron could still also say about DJ LeMay, well, you gave him a six-year deal, and he's 32. So... There are so many other ways you could go. And again, getting Freddie Freeman, if money wasn't an object and length of contract wasn't an object, of course it would be a perfect get. But it's not a perfect world. Those things are important. Those things are factors. So you're going to bend everything that you believe in in terms of giving long-term deals into old age. For Freddie Freeman? Well, then, then be prepared to really spend a lot of money and a lot of years on Aaron Judge. Now, I told you yesterday what my grand plan would be. You try to make the deal with the A's for Matt Olson. That's the guy. He's young. He has two years left before he becomes a free agent. You're going to have to give a lot of draft capital up in terms of your farm system. So what? Everybody's not going to make the Yankees. So wouldn't you rather have Matt Olson at his price than Freddie Freeman? Now, all of this gets thrown out the window if, in fact, they don't intend to sign Aaron Judge. But you need a shortstop. You need a first baseman, and you need a center fielder. That's not me saying it. That's what the Yankees have said. So if, in fact, all of those things are true, I know Freddie Freeman, you don't have to give up any of your your farm system, but you got to give up a six-year deal to take a guy till he's 38? Uh, I don't know. I'm not quite sure I want to go there. uh, Now, they know better than me, and I don't think they really have the analytics to figure this out perfectly, How is he specifically going to age to the age of 38? Does his swing play the same way it would play at 32? Does he have the body type that's going to last until he's 38? These are all things you have to consider. Remember, you get seven more years of Stanton. And then if you intend to give Aaron Judge a contract, it's at least six years, I would think, five or six years, and that takes him to 36, 37 if you give him seven years. And then you got DJ LeMayu till he's 38. You, you gonna run a nursing home in the Bronx? I mean, the way to keep a team relevant and to keep your payroll within operating distance is to keep recycling players and bring them up, you know, get younger players in trades or in the minor leagues, bring them up and have them be part of, 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 of the greatness. That's what happened when they were on their last dynasty. Posada, Jeter. Bernie, Pettit, Rivera. That's why they were able to do those things for that many years. Because they were able to get a couple of championships under their belt before those guys made big money. So now, Freddie Freeman is the, is the, is the object of your affection? And it's, it's hard to say no because he is a really good player. But as I said, Peter, it doesn't come without strings attached. He's, he's really good. He's really consistent. He's available. He's, his his availability is tremendous, but Michael, it's it seems like every year with the Yankees, there's always someone that we can add here. There's always someone that people can go. Oh, you know, if they just grabbed so and so, then they'd literally be perfect at every single position. But to your point, that comes at a price. And at what point do you decide? You know what? No, we actually have what we need. What we need to do is get a different outcome and win games. But is it is are they missing? Are they a Freddie Freeman away? From being talented enough to win the World Series? Well, he would he would certainly bring you, I think, up a notch. You know, he's a good defender. Uh, he His swing plays in that ballpark. But, you know, if you've got other things to do, right, um, and signing Judge is one of them, uh, I think you could get by with Rizzo. Give him a two- or three-year contract because you're worried about his age. And Rizzo's not as good as Freeman, but he's a pretty good player, and he was he acclimated himself beautifully 
into the Yankee universe. The players love them. Judge was really close with them. So he's there, and you don't have to give anything for him but money. You've already traded people for him. So it's just, again, the Yankees haven't said a word. We haven't heard from the Yankees. But these people are not writing this in a vacuum. Somebody must be whispering something in somebody's ear that the Yankees would be interested in Freeman. Well, at what price and in how many years? That's a lot of years, man. Six. And the team that has him, that loves him, Atlanta, the people of Atlanta adore him. His children were born in Atlanta. And they're going to stop at five? And I think he's worth more to Atlanta than he is to anybody else. And they're coming off a world championship. And they print money. And you know why we know they print money? Because it's the only publicly owned team in baseball. Their, their sheet is available for all to see how much money they make. And they're going to draw the line at five years? What do they know that we don't know? So if he's going to leave Atlanta, maybe the Dodgers give him six years. Maybe the Yankees give him... I, I, again, I... I would be stunned if the Yankees gave Freddie Freeman six years. Maybe they blow him out of the water and say, we'll give you a five-year deal, and they'll overpay him for the five years. So maybe if his number's at 30, they'll, we'll give you 35 a year for five years. I don't know. I don't know their thinking, but when I read those stories, I said, wow, that, that's a little odd to me. I don't know why that make, doesn't make much sense. It also seems odd, though, that they would be so willing to draw that line at five years, enough that he's willing to walk in. And it, yeah, he supposedly got his, his, his uh, panties in a bunch that they would not budge from five. But people that people are so weird about negotiations. Like that's what a deal is. Like you have to come to an agreement. Five years at thirty million dollars to stay in a place where you've been your whole career. That would essentially mean you're finishing your career there. Mm -hmm. That would take you from twenty ten to twenty twenty six. You'd have a sixteen year career all in Atlanta, the place where your kids are born and where you live. You just won a world championship. I understand why he'd be offended, but it feels like sometimes people get in their own head. It's like. It, wouldn't it be appealing, though, for him to just finish it out there? You would think. Now, he probably thinks, I just gave them a bargain on my last deal. They signed him early, and they took a chance, and the last couple of years of the contract, it was an absolute heist for the Braves. So he's probably saying, oh, well, now you're going to pay off. Now I'm going to make my money on the back end. But that's where the players are angry. It's hard to make the money on the back end when you're in your 30s because they could bring in somebody else in their 30s for a lot less money or uh, somebody younger uh, for a lot less money that will come close to the production. Again, Freddie Freeman is an elite player, and he would play great in yeah. the Bronx, but I'm not sure I would give him six years if that's what it takes to get him. I mean, yeah. if you can get him on a four-year deal, yeah, jump on it. So his base salary, he, he made $22 million last year. Right. How many years do you have the, the past year? Wow. He, he, I don't, his deal is he's unrestricted right now, as you know. He is... 22 the last two years, 21 the, the two years before that. Eight-year deal. 20.5 20. before that. The The real bargain they had was up until 2017 because he was already a great player. Mm -hmm. And in 14, 15, and 16, he made 5, 8, and $12 million. So they weren't paying a ton of money for him. No, and even at 22, if you look at his war, he's a bargain for what each and war His war, I think, is 4.1. Yeah, he's a, he's a great player, and he's a great clubhouse guy, so that's... That's big. Let's go to the phone, see what you're thinking. one 800 3776 Let's go to um, Joseph in California. Joseph. Hey, Michael. Uh, Peter, how are you guys doing? Good. How are you? Uh, pretty good. Pretty good. Hey, uh, Michael, I just want to weigh in on what you said. You really hit the nail on the head when you said, why don't the, why don't the Yankees just try to trade for Matt Olson? Because, I mean, you, you brought up the good points. He's got two years left on his contract. He's 28 years old. And while I'm, I'm not, I wouldn't be totally against the Yankees trying to get Freddie Freeman. I mean, the answer's right there. Just try to make the trade for Olsen, and yeah, sure, you might have to give up Alba Peraza, but in that case, you could possibly try to get Frankie Montes or Shamanaya from the A's, because we all know the Yankees could use another starting pitcher. Well, you can make it into a big deal. I mean, if, if Ramon Laureano is available, he's a great defensive center fielder. You want to have another center fielder, that's another area of need. And you're going to have to give up a huge package. Everybody in baseball, including the Atlanta Braves, would want Matt Olson if, if, if Freddie Freeman goes somewhere else. Matt Olson, it, it, I don't know if you've ever seen Matt Olson, Peter. He would be a matinee idol in New York City. With his swing, the way he plays, he would be unbelievable. But it's going to get a lot, it's going to cost a lot of capital to get him. I get it. And it's much more, it's much preferable to get people just for money. But does it make sense at that many years for a guy that age? Let's go to Jack in Hamilton. Jack. Hey, Michael, big fan. You and Peter and Hope Don's doing better. Thank you. Um, 
Here's where I disagree with you, and I, you know, I'm a big Yankee fan. I love when you call the games. Here's where I disagree about uh, this with Freddie Freeman. I would give him the six years, and the problem I have with giving eight years to like Aaron Judge, as you may suggest, is that Aaron Judge has had a history, maybe not in the last year or so, with his with his injuries, and I can see his body breaking down, you know, around that six year mark. And now you're going to have a couple years, and now you're going to same thing would happen to Stanton. Stanton's only had a, a, a good year last year, um, but you know his body can break down. So I think it's a good idea to give Freeman the six years. And if you give six years, like you like they did Lemayu to Aaron Judge, and he decides to walk, it's going to be kind of like what happened with Robbie Cano. Robbie Cano left a lot of money on the table and left, and look what happened to him in the back end of his career. So I think it's a good idea for Freeman for six years. I think it's a, a bad idea to give all those years to Judge. And I love Judge, but he hasn't proven yet that he can put together like two or three years in a row without getting hurt. But so the one, the one thing that. I would I, – I hear what you're saying, but the one thing I would say, and we, we covered this last week as well, a lot of Judge's in, injuries would, would be listed under like a catastrophic injury. He got hit in the wrist. Um, uh, he, he broke a rib diving for a ball in the outfield. Now the one the, the the injury that concerns me with him it doesn't knock him out the whole year is the oblique pull because he's so big. Now would I want to give eight years to Judge? In all likelihood, no. But if you're Aaron Judge and you're going to take somebody from another team and give him a six year deal up to the age of thirty eight, then that's what Aaron Judge is going to want. So whatever you want to do, if you want to get Aaron Judge signed with the Yankees, well, you're going to set your parameters by the deals that you give. Otherwise, now the Yankees could explain the DJ Lemayu deal. The reason they gave him six years. Is because they wanted to spread out the contract. He wanted ninety million dollars, whichever way he could get it. Um, you know, he probably would have wanted it in five years or four years. But the Yankees wanted to stay under the two hundred and ten million dollar luxury threshold last year. So by spreading it out over six years, then it became fifteen million dollars a year rather than over twenty. That's what the Yankees could explain. Okay, I get it. But if you're going to give Freddie Freeman six years to thirty eight, then Aaron Judge has every right to come in there and go, "I want eight. Because one of the big complaints is, "Well, how could you give a thirty year old that much money or that many years?" Well, you just gave a thirty two year old six years, so I'm thirty. Give me eight. I'm just I'm just trying to foresee exactly how it would come down, and I think that that's the way it might come down. So if you're locked in, if you're the Yankees, and you you definitely want to bring back Aaron Judge, well, everything you do before. Sets a template for what you're going to have to do with him. Now you can say, well, we're going to draw the line. And that's what they did with Robinson Cano. They offered him seven years, $25 million a year, $175 million contract. And he took 10 years, $240 million with the Seattle Mariners. So he took $1 million less per year, but he got those extra three years the Yankees wouldn't give him. And you know what? The Yankees were right. The Yankees turned out to be right. Because if they'd signed him, they'd be in the mess that the Mets are in right now. They still have two more years of Robinson Cano's contract. They almost lucked out that he got caught on PEDs last year because that knocked last year's contract off the books. But mm. it's back on this year. Now, maybe they luck out with a universal DH, but you've got to watch. When you give 10-year contracts out, at some point... The player's not going to be close to the player that he was. Look at Albert Pujols' contract with the Angels. It became an absolute albatross. Over the last four years of the deal, he wasn't any good. And then the last year, they actually released him and paid him for nothing. So he ended up with the Dodgers. So the, every fan always wants you to sign everybody. Sign everybody. I want that guy. I want that guy. I want that guy. But there are ramifications for signing these guys. There are. Jared and Williamsburg. Jared. Hey, how y'all going? How y'all doing? Good. Uh, Michael Douglas K and Peter Folk Rosenberg, man. What's going on, man? We're good. How are this, you? This is crazy. <laughs> We're good. Good. I'm good. I'm good. And this is crazy, man. As a uh, Atlanta Braves fan, I really think uh, the Braves should do anything and everything they could do to kind of get, like you said, give that man like a gold watch kind of year or something, mm -hmm. something to keep him because he was so instrumental in this last series. And I especially don't want him going over to the Yankees because y'all took a, a championship away from us back in the nineties. So now, two. Am I? If he, he, he two championships, he's making it even worse for me. Yeah, right. now he's just making it. You he just, he just pull a ride for me. <laughs> I don't. That, look, thank you, Michael. I'm hey, sorry, thank you, Michael. Hey, 
That's all right. Now, as a Braves no, fan, what are you hearing? Why don't they want to give him the six year? Honestly, honestly, man, I don't know. I really don't know. But what I think, I really think that the Braves, they always try to hold on to their money because they really kind of believe in their young talent that they're trying to develop for later years so they can kind of keep a, a nice core group together because they have a nice young core group that yeah. they're really not paying right now. No, they got they have but, great deals with Acuna and um, for Albies. Yeah, and then I'm not sure what's going to happen with... Well, we're losing it for a second. L- listen, it-, it comes down to this: if you want to, if you want to stay younger, then why are you offering him five years? My my point is, if you offer him five, mm-hmm. why not offer him? Six? Why not offer him six? Unless you're offering him just enough for him to say no, and you don't look bad to your fans. Well, we offered him five. Let's go to Mark in West Caldwell. Mark. Hey guys, how you doing? Good. You doing all right? Um, I respect what you're saying about. Uh, the loyalty to judge and everything. Um, totally get that. Um, I'm just thinking like, you know, I don't know if Freddie Freeman's, uh, injury history. I, I don't think it's similar to, to Aaron Judge. It's not. Um, second thing is, um, obviously first base is not nearly as, uh, doesn't take toll on the body that you play in right field. Mm-hmm. Um, that's all I got. Oh, but Peter, we were at Maryland at the same time. I think. Oh, really? Uh, I graduated. I graduated no one. Oh, I was supposed to graduate no one. And he took the extra year, <laughs> took a little extra time for the championship. Well, Mark, I, I, yeah, def- I was almost a super senior myself. So. <laughs> there you go. I definitely hear what you're saying, but when it comes to contract negotiations, there are going to be egos involved. That, that's all I'm saying. And one other thing that I'd even bring up that has to be taken into consideration: Do the Yankees see Aaron Judge playing right field? for the length of whatever contract they sign him. Because the obvious move would be to put him at first base because you're still going to have Stanton, who has to DH. So if you're going to lock up Freddie Freeman for uh, six years until he's 38, well, then you don't really have a landing spot for Aaron Judge, do you? Now, they, they know the long-term plan. They know if they want Judge back. I would assume they do. They know how many years they're going to offer him and how much money. So they've got this planned out. I'm just talking out loud here. That there are impediments to the judge deal once you get it, bring in a guy like Freeman, Wait, if they do. Meaning that you wouldn't, if, it, if first base could be a place to move judge? Right. Mm. I don't know if, if he would want to do it, but, you know, Mickey Mantle played first base. Well, it's the logical play for someone of his size, in mm-hmm. theory, when you decide you've had enough of him in the outfield. I mean, Which, I, by the way, it seems like at times there are, now, there are times now when they've had enough of him in the outfield. You would much, much rather him in the outfield because he's so great in the outfield. He's a plus-plus defender. But you also want to keep him on his feet. And, you know, he, he, he plays all out. He's going to dive. You hope that he doesn't get hurt. So these are things you have to take into consideration. It's a lot of money to invest. No, and it's, at some point, given his stature and his age, he's not, he's not a spring chicken. He's, he's, he's young. He's, what, 29? He'll be, he'll be uh, 30 in April. But he's, he's not a kid. Right. So, I mean, I would think it's a limited amount of time that you keep him in the outfield. One, and, and, and DH is not an option because of Stan. Right. 1-800-919-3776. That's the number. Continue to talk about this. They continue to meet down in Jupiter, Florida. Uh, the owners of the first third straight day that they're meeting. What's being accomplished doesn't seem like a lot. See you guys. But uh, we will see, Buster, for sure. You know what? I don't know. Kay Rosenberg and you right